I'm trying to update the system, but it's locking up. It's like all my resources are spent downloading OpenSSH at like horrible speeds. Anyway, um, I'm going to turn my fan off when I can. And we're just going to, I guess, bake this stream. Oh, God. It's so hot. I know. I'll turn my air purifier on. Like up high. Okay, that's actually too loud. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to deal with this. It's Australia. It's hot today. All right. I'm sorry in advance for any of the noise from the fan. Um, but that's just what you get. Anyway, before we start the stream, I want to introduce our new mascot. Um, I have a foldy here. So this is this is our mascot, DOS Man. Um, this is what I made in uh, Web 3D something, and <laughs> I went to render him, and it didn't. It didn't really. <sighs> come out very well. Instead, we just get a man that looks like he doesn't care about anything anymore. He's just sick of it. Now, I did actually do some alternate renders for the next few days. Um, this is the man being overwhelmed by DOS, I guess. So you compare it, you have this guy. Uh, I just can't take any more in this guy. Wow, DOS. And some alternate ones is like, that's with the ray tracing turned off, but with shadows. So like you kind of see what the shadow here is supposed to be. Um, you have this one, which is just no thinking, no thinking allowed. And then this is the uh, like in editor preview. And that's the wireframe. And that's me trying to render it on Windows. It took like uh, over 12 hours to render. Um, I was using like Wine VDM or something so I could run this 16 bit application on Windows. Um, oh no, has, has Ubuntu frozen? No, okay. Um, do I have anything else? Yeah, so this is the initial, like, uh, how many dinosaur bones? And this is the, this is one of, this is my new Mastodon avatar. Because I've decided that I am punished Dossman now. Oh my god, something is happening with this VM, I'm going to have to reboot it. I don't know, what the hell? Punish Dustman needs a reboot. Let's hope this fixes it, because if it doesn't, we're in trouble. Okay. So, first up, we need to... Uh, it's not... not time for that. Um, yeah, and I also dug through like a ton of old Intel manuals. And I found some more from ardenttool.com. This webpage is pretty amazing if you go to R. Alright, I'm going to have to close Orc, aren't I? My screen reader. Okay. So if you go to ardenttool.com and you go to I think it would be maybe system components. I think it was in processor. 
manuals, processor documentation. Yeah, if you go here and you go here, you can get all the different manuals. And I've looked through a lot of these. Um, the one that I might want to just download too is this one, because even though it's for the 386, it's like the first one that you can like search and it has a table of contents. Um, but you do have to keep in mind it's for the 386. So let's go and put that in our DOS directory. Um, I also found the programmer's reference, um, which is basically the same thing as the hardware reference um, that we've been using this entire time, but it actually tells you about the instructions. And I found, um, yeah, so I found the IAPX 88, so the Intel 88 manual, and it's either this one or this one, which talks about the 188. So we're going to unfortunately take this one. Um, you can really tell with these manuals that Intel cared once a time about looking fashionable. That's kind of weird in the past decade or so. Aesthetic is gone, kind of, or maybe we're just in the no aesthetic aesthetic. Everything's all just um, very flat very uh minimalistic there's not a lot of aesthetic art in websites i might be talking trash let's go to intel's website intel's website has like the worst documentation navigation maybe i don't know well i guess that is kind of aesthetic um, yeah, that looks, that looks aesthetic. The only thing left are the animal illustration books. Yeah. Um, I managed to tear up my flipper, so let me fix that real quick. The, uh, foam from it keeps coming out of it. Which isn't good if you wear slippers. I need to get more slippers. These ones cost $12 and have lasted me about almost a year. Okay, so let's look at these reference manuals. I also found that I don't like this assembly reference. It doesn't tell you about flags. Um, not sure about this. I'll show you how I judge these manuals now. If I search um, XLAT and I go to, and there's no page for XLAT in the manual, like we only get that. That's a user guide. You actually get a full page about XLAT. We get the opcodes. No, so no XLAT there, no XLAT there, no XLAT in this one. In this one, we can actually search um, XLAT. And this is one I've had laying around for a while. Um, the problem is it's pretty big or slow or whatever. Um, because it's a PDF. If we try and find XLAT. Oh, there's an index. Can we use the index? XLAT translate 6106. I don't know why they couldn't use page numbers. 6106. And here we have the XLAT. Look. We have the instruction format flags and stuff. And so this is what we need. Um, now, we have the user manual here. Let's search XLAT. We go find previous. Doesn't look like this actually has the big um, appendix table. Is this the user's manual? No, programmer's reference. 
Does this not have the thing that I downloaded it for? I swear I checked this. Oh, here we go. We're getting to it. Oh, maybe the search is just bad. Like we have our reference, maybe. See, we have we have the um, instructions listed here in this manual. There's LEA. Does it not have X slide in this manual? Let's just jump down. That was the appendix, wasn't it? God, I've, I've, okay, case sensitive. Take me to X lat. This is a horrible experience. Let's look for the index at the back of the book. Oh, that's an appendix. There's no index. This book is horrible. Um, but if we search from here, X that we find the previous. Maybe we'll find the instruction. Yeah, so we have X that here. So that was kind of difficult to find. Uh, let's try this book. Does this work faster? Give me X light, please. You want to find from the end. That takes so damn long. Because like this book has too much stuff in it. Well, there's LEA, but shouldn't X light come after it? Yeah, so we kind of can get it in this one too. Um, I'm not sure if this is easier or harder to find stuff in. And the 386 Intel one is a lot easier because you can just search XLAT and you can just go to it. But it's uh, in, it's kind of got like this 386 stuff and it's all text. So we might have to just pick our poison. Although this, this book seems to be a bit faster. Um, let's try searching for the move instruction in the assembly language manual here. Um, how do we do that? We went to the, went to the index for this, didn't we? M for move. Move data six dash six two. Yeah, I can use this. We might have to use this. I don't know why the other books are so slow in searching. Probably because like, I don't know. That's 12 megabytes. That's 18. Is it really that big of a difference? Again, let's try and search for a move. Maybe it's because it just hasn't cached all the stuff yet. Is there like a command to go through the entire document and cache it? There's no, uh, maybe if I can find the, end what am I doing? This is pointless. I don't, I, we have one that works. Let's, let's start the stream. Okay, let's open up our thing. I'm going to assume nothing is broken, but let's just try it anyway. So test server and then we'll run bot test. And we'll see if anything's broken. All right, nothing is broken. The first thing I want to do is possibly fix a bug I thought about the other day. Drive C code bot. Um, 
Yeah, it's in bot, I think. Um, it would be in string. Um, let's open up our tests too, because the test would show us better than me reading the assembly. So what happens when we buy a full string? Write a, uh, write a long string to a small string. Um, yeah, so that doesn't, in, that doesn't change anything, right? But we want it to change the, um, we want it to set um, the, the remaining da data left. I guess what we will do is we will, um, if CX um, is greater than, we want to write enough string and we want it to be, um, we want to write as much as we can. And that way, um, after we've done all our string operations, we can actually check if it's, you know, it can't write anymore, like we've run out of string. So we want to do compare CXBX. Um, now if it carries, we want to move, um, I think CX is the right value. So we want to move, um, jump carry return, we want to, uh, how do we do this? I think we just, um, so right now it compares it to check if that it overflows. And then if it does, it returns. If it jumps, otherwise it will subtract the read value from the right register, I think. Um, CX is the right length left in the light. Yeah, so it marks that as the amount left. So, and then it writes the string. So I guess what should happen is we want to, um, no trunk. So we won't truncate it, but here, if it's truncated, we will, we will move, um, CX to BX and that way it will write everything it can. All right. Um, let's try fixing that. Hmm. So um, length right. Which test is failing? One, two, one. So writing a string to a buffer that has space is failing now. Length right doesn't equals 11. So, oh, this should be jump not carry. I see. Oops. And so that should be 140 here. So too long. Um, read should be in the data in length, um, data in dot length right. Dot, um, length right should be zero. And then we should have read by that amount. 142. So data out dot right should be zero. Um, data, data out dot red, we should read, and then it should be length right. Ah, uh, yeah, this should be length right. Let's try that. Red doesn't equals 38 got zero. 
That's interesting. So length read. I guess that's zero because um, there's nothing left to read. Yeah, that would make sense. And write. Should be plus equals the length right. And out, which let's compare. Can you make your terminal black on white? I can't see your food. Oh, maybe turn your light on. Then we should, we want to. We want to fix this. Yay. All right, so we truncate the strings and that way we now have the invariant that, um, Um, check that, um, CX is small, uh, check that CX isn't full after writing to use error, error checking. Um, so let's go to our, um, code. We want to look at our log code and we want to remove SN printf nice. So let's look how we do that. Uh, we have our log buffer and we have our log buffer length. Um, that's log printf. Where are we using log printf? All right, so there's log printf there. It doesn't look like we're actually using this. Um, let's go to our bot code. Oh, this is something that, um, the C code is calling. So we actually do need SN printf for this. Um, unless we move that to the, Unless we write our log printf here and then, okay, we'll have to replace that. So let's write this um, to do move log printf back to C. I don't know why this is actually here. And we want to remove SN printf. And so when we have log incoming and log outgoing. All right, so log incoming, what are we going to do? Um, we have our timestamp and then we have all our different registers here. Um, we are going to have to push these registers because we don't actually have enough registers. Um, actually, um, we don't actually have, do we have any commands for like writing a string? Um, let's just, okay. So we have S I C X C X. It pushes C X twice. Um, login coming. Push C X and pop C X that preserves C X. Um, we have S I and C X as our, um, incoming string. We have call create timestamp. We have call write log and write space. So then we have format incoming. So we have create timestamp. Does this use SN printf? All right, let's try and start here. So let us um, move. I guess we need some things to help set up. So, <coughs> <coughs> we're going to need 
it's like this after. So this is the code we need to replace from here to here. Um, so we want to, we have AX and CX, and then we have time format. <laughs> we have time format length and time format buffer. So we want to be writing to time format buffer, which I think is DI. Yeah, time, time buffer. We want CX to be time buffer length. And then we want to do move, um, we have DI and CX. Um, and then we have BX and SI. So we want to put, uh, what's our time format? We want to um, move AX. What the hell is AX doing here? Push AX. Uh, we want to use AX. Um, how do we write a number? Okay. So we push AX. We're going to move. Um, what's the padding value for write number? Um, so AX is the number. That is correct. Uh, move BX or. And then we want to call. Right num, and then we want to put at the top here global right num, external right num. So let's go back down to where we have right num. So that should write the number to the time buffer. Um, now we also want to push CX. This, hmm, why is there so much time shit here? Am I just pushing this as we go? Yeah, all right, so we push AX. So this is actually the stack. Um, we create the timestamp and we push the values onto the stack. So now we just have to um, pop them off as we go. Uh, push DX and BP. All right, so we push, we push, we push, push push um so then we're going to pop these i think we want to consume them um in this case move aldl you ever eat potatoes like corn on the cob no i'm a bit confused hang on let's try and understand this code a bit better i should have commented it Move DIL. Okay. So AX is our first value and we're going to write it. Actually, is this back to front? Yeah, it is. Okay. That makes things a whole lot trickier, actually. Um, hmm. So we first want to get the year, which is um, this part here. So get year. Um, get date, and this would be get time. No, this would be get time. And this would be get date, maybe. DOS int 2C, is that what it is? Let's search up DOS, um, DOS, uh, DOS in 21 to C. Get a system time. Do you ever eat pop potatoes like on the cob? What? So date is 2A and time is 2C. Yeah, that's what I figured. So we get the, we get the time. Um, and then we move a H to, we move zero to a H. I don't know why. Uh, 
I think this get system date um, return CX is the year. So what are we getting here? DH is month. Um, get month, and this is CL is the year. CX is supposed to be the year. Move CL to AL. Um, what? Why am I only moving the, the, the last two digits? I guess we will just um, push CX, get year. Oh, wait, is day is a um, DL is day AL. So where's DL? This is this doesn't seem right. Wait, is this the time? Yeah, this is the time. Okay. Get time, get date. I don't know why I was doing that. Okay. <clears throat> so um, this will be, I think this is be year. No, CX is year. This would be month. And this would be push AX um, day. So DL is day, I think. Okay, and then over here, we're just going to check to get system time. CH is the hour. Hour, this would be minute then, probably. CL. Minute. And this would be DH is second. All right. Um, so how are we going to do that? Um, if we want to start writing this stuff, we would have to push it in reverse order. Um, hmm. We could allocate some stack space, I guess. This seems like a good idea to do that. You know what? Let's start, let's, you know, use the stack <coughs> for what it's meant to be used um, as a storage area, I guess. Unless we can avoid it, but, um, I mean, if we change around the date, we're still clobbering all these registers. We need to store the these. So let's mob SP and let's allocate how much memory do we need? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, um, six. So we need six times two. Um, sub SB 12. Um, and then we're going to do move, um, move AX, um, SP. Um, plus 12, I think. No, SP plus zero. We'll put a second on SP plus zero. And then we'll put it at SP plus two. And SP plus four gets this. Then SP plus four gets um, this. Uh, SP plus six gets the month. Let's put that second. 
minute, hour. So we're kind of using the struct as a data structure, if you will. And then we will unwind it when we're printing stuff. Not unwind, we will pop off it. But we also need to then add 12 over here. Um, do we? No, we're already moving the base pointer. Yeah. Um, actually, it should be base pointer, not stack pointer. What am I doing? We're going to do base pointer minus zero. Uh, base pointer minus six. Uh, base pointer minus eight here. And then we want to move base point minus um, day. I think that's correct. So we have, we move the second. No, um, hmm. because the base pointer is, we need to go below the base pointer. Two, four, six, eight, ten. So negative two, um, since the base pointer points to the previous stack thing. Um, so BP minus two is AX, which is second minute hour. And we have month, year, and that, I think that's one of these is day. Yeah, I've messed up down here. Let's undo that. So month, year, so AH, so um, DL is what? I think that's CX is the year, DL is the day. Um, so that would be day, year, and then we want to get the month. No, second, so let's do, we put CX into negative eight, second minute hour. Um, actually, no, we'll do day first. So day is that, and then we want to get month, which is, I think, DL. System date DH is month. So that would actually be month. So the first thing we want to do is get DL, which will be um, day. Month. And then we have year. Two, four, six, eight, ten, and then we go negative twelve. I think that works out. Um, so then we have second minute hour on the stack. Year is CX. We don't technically need to subtract the stack pointer here, um, but I think the stack is shared with an interrupt, so we probably should. I don't know. All right, so sub SP negative 12, and then, yeah. I think we need to subtract that amount of data. That seems right. And we're storing these as words, right. So now we need to move uh, that, move BX, and then we move um, AX. Um, we're going to put in the year, BP minus 12. 
we're going to write, call write num, and then we're going to call bp minus 10 uh, write num, bp minus 8 write num, bp minus 6 write num, bp minus 4 write num, bp minus 2 write num, and bp. Now that's it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then we want to. Write some characters in between. Um, but maybe we'll start with that, or maybe we will call write character. So add a uh, move ax dash call write character. So that then we need to do dash. So you write num that, we write, oh, we write num that, um, we should do a right character, and then we write num, then we should be doing right character again. We write num, and then we have to write a T. And then we have to write, um, The, the the set the colon and then what do we write no it's just the time format and then we want to what do we want to do we want to return ax and cx so we want to move um Null terminated time. All right, now we need to write character. Zero, null termination. And then we want to move um, AX to, where do we want to move? We want to move um, DI to AX, yeah. Um, and then what do we return? And what's CX? That's the length. Yeah, so the thing with CX is we have to now subtract the original length. Um, so we want to, um, if we have, hmm, the length left over is, this is a bit tricky. Create timestamp. Um, then it calls write log. <laughs> this doesn't need to be null terminated then. Why are we doing that? And it's time in AX CX. And write log calls. Yeah, okay. So the length here is going to end up just being I don't know, do we need a length? We could just use the log buffer. I don't know, we'll worry about that in a second. Um I don't want milk on the computer. Let's just quickly move, um, what is it, CX to AX. We'll move CX to, we'll move the time buffer length to that, and then we'll subtract um, AX. And then we have the CX and the AX. All right, let's see if this even works. or even compiles for that matter. Um, test bot, bot test. 
Right character not defined, that's correct. Our code has become a, a, a little bit messier. Um, so it's writing zeros. That's all. Uh, let's just open the debugger. Let's open the debugger. And we're going to go to create timestamp. Um, I don't even know if I have that as a global thing. Um, let's go to window modules. I think it would be in log. Um, timestamp. Yeah, let's run to here. Let's look at our registers. So our stack, let's look at our stack. So we subtract it. So we're at 38C and we're going to put some data in there. So 1A second, 2B minute, E hour, the day is 1D. The year is 1D. We didn't set the upper values. We only have um, day, hour, month, year. What? Seconds. We, what? We have second minute, hour, day, month, year. Hang on. A little bit confusing. So second minute, hour, day, month, year. Where did I get 12 from? Why did I subtract up to B or whatever, whatever. BP minus 12. What does that give us? 76. That's not good. But we write the number. We write character. Let's look at DI. Memory at DI. Actually, that looks uh, window memory. That looks about right. That looks like we actually wrote that though. We have the 20, 20, 11, 29, 14, 43. Um, don't know why there's like a 26 there, but that's fine. All right, so obviously, Scratch and sniffs you don't like that. Obviously we now have our AX. We only have one left over, right? Let me move CX, which is 14. Let me subtract one, which is the length. We move AX to DI. No. Oh, okay, I see. I swapped that around by accident. That should move um, DI to AX. This is a bit weird. We have second, minute, hour, day, month, year. And then we write second. Uh, this should be write year. Write month. Right day. Right. Um, what should this be? It should be hour.
hour, right minute. Um, then we do right second. Yes, that seems like it should work. I mean, that's a big unoptimized thing, but let's see. Post details 10.0. And then it crashes. So I'm getting vibes that I'm having some stack corruption too. So let's just double check that. Um, so let's see, bot test. Window modules log. We go all the way down to the bottom. And we go to here, create timestamp. Um, we also should be preserving DI and SI and BX and stuff. Um, let's just quickly change that. So, uh, what registers are we using? Basically all of them. They want to push it. Um, DX, SI, DI. D BX, DX, CX, AX. I think that's all of them. It's all... Or, yeah, are there any other registers that I'm not thinking of, aside from segments? AX, BX, CX, DX, SI, DI. So the four ones and SI, DI. SI, DI, A, B, C, D, all right, yeah. Let's pop those two while we're at it. So those are under. We should push the base pointer first, honestly. Pop BP. Oh, but here's a problem. Yeah, let's put BP there. And then we'll pop these in reverse. Okay, it's not the reverse I wanted. So DXBX SI. Um, yeah, all right. So that might help. Um, let's see if that actually just fixes the problem. Post details 10.0. All right. So it's a little bit closer. Let's go to our log code. Then we're going to run it to the cursor and we're going to look at our stack. So our stack starts at 43B0. Um, so we push, 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 um, set the base pointer to A6. Then we want to, um, put some space in the stack for our doings. So, um, A6, and then we have these values, A4 through A8. So let's see, um, A4 is 2F, 3, 3, 3E. 1D, B, okay. 
And then we move, so our stack is all filled up nicely here. That's the date. Um, so next we probably want to set, we probably want to um, see what DI is at now. Can you fill a pancake stack? What? So let's see, memory at DI. Um, so let's continue jumping through. So the first thing we should write is the year, which we do. Then we write the month and the day. And that should be padded by the padding here should be two actually after we go after the year our padding should be two i think bx is preserved let's see registers bx it is not preserved so we're gonna have to set that before all our right numbers Sure. So we have our string in memory. You want to move CX to AX. Oh shit. Um, we should be moving time buffer to AX. Anyway, let's continue. So we then pop the stack back to six, nine. I don't remember that being at, um, then we pop the base pointer. We pop DX, DX SI, and then we return. All right. So I think that was the issue. Um, I wasn't returning like actual data. Hey. Although now it's freezing. So not sure exactly what's happening here. Sent packet length 56. Um, and I quit. It didn't reply. And the cleaning up is taking a bit. So something off is happening here. Something is still wrong. Um, hmm. It's hanging here. Is this because this is not actually null terminated? Maybe we need to actually write, write null. It seems to be able to catch interrupts and stuff fine. Zero four eight. It's padding to th three digits. Why is it padding to three digits? What? Oh, I'm writing a literal zero instead of a null there. So it's not padding. Uh, 
All right, so we send a new buffer and we have a packet link to that. So am I, am I writing to invalid memory? Hmm. Time buffer length. Let's try making this a bigger buffer. No, that just makes a gap there. Um, that shouldn't make a gap. Is this code really causing issues? I'll have to comment it out in a second. Um, create timestamp. Let's not do that. Um, what? I mean, that's fine because it's the memory, but like, what is happening here? I'm, I must not be preserving some register. Is it ES, perhaps? I'm trying to think of like a, a register that I'm not preserving here. You should have all your registers back. There should be no side effects. Is the test server broken? Let's go back to the debugger because I've got some got some bugs here. BP DX BP BP DX BX S I D I whatever, whatever, whatever. This should be fine. Why isn't it fine? I would not put bugs in your pants, my friend. I'm 100% sure this isn't like a, a, a stack issue. Mm. Let's go to modules log and we're going to actually jump to here and then we're going to look at our registers and call here and we'll have a look um let's actually just go to log general here and we'll uh run to cursor all right, so those are our registers now. We modify CX and FL. AX and CX, that's the only modified registers. Must be writing past a buffer then. Time buffer, time buffer. I think I've found like a new problem. Not ES, we don't need to do that. Um, we, we found a new problem. Uh, 
I don't think this is like a typical problem that I've had before. I've commented out create timestamp there. This should be a drop in. Yet, it's giving us X a whole bunch of C's. That's not what I want. So thinking about this logically, it's not the registers. Um, the registers are fine. Um, so it must be either writing in the wrong place, which I figure it's not. Lack of null termination. That's not the case. Wrong length. Uh, maybe we could just move, always say to print the full buffer. I'm not going to bed, I'm streaming. Sometimes you yawn. But then it, it's happening only sometimes. What if we don't do great timestamp? Have I modified this code in other ways and just forgotten about it? That seems like something I might have done, but this code all looks fine and it works. I mean, it seems to work. Sending login credentials. And we're still getting the bad buffer there. That's even without. Okay, hang on. We need to give it the proper registers. So let's say instead of create timestamp, we just move um, AX log buffer and we give it to log buffer length and then we return. How about that? Do we still get a bad buffer? Yeah. And we have this giant gap here. <clears throat> How about we move CX and always give it a length of one? Hmm. Oh, I didn't call create timestamp there. Maybe that's responsible in part for this. Why do I have two DOS boxes open? Let's try this one. Oh, that seems to have hung. It's not good. Come on. It's sending a empty buffer. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're gonna call this file test and then we're gonna undo everything we've done. 
today. Um, undo two. And then we're going to see if that fixes it. Okay, so then we're going to create a new window. We're going to edit test. And we're going to run diff. If this, if this. Wow, so there really is nothing that different. So that means perhaps we could just recreate the error by putting it here. Yeah, so do we have the code working because there's an unintentional side effect? That shouldn't be log buffer, that should be um, uh, timestamp buffer, time format buffer, time buffer. What is happening here? I need an adult to help me with this. So just changing it to return a buffer with a value of one causes an issue. Um, what if we remove, what if we return time format? And that is, I don't know, how many characters is that? Actually, let's, let's create our own thing. Um, hello there. And this is going to be hello world. And this will be how many bytes? Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, I think that's 13 bytes. Um, we move hello world to AX. And we move back 13 for CX. To be hello world. Has my, I feel like I've, Hmm. And that hangs. Hey, all right. So I think my documentation must be wrong then. Let's see. What do we actually do at the end of this? Code, we call SNPrintf, nice. What does that do? We push our variables and we call SNPrintf nice. That must be having a different return value. Let's just try calling SNPrintf nice with the string. So we push the time, but uh, we push that and we call SNPrintf nice. So time format, we want to um, put the time, uh, we want to put a hello world. And then we want to return, I think. Um, actually, we want to move um, 
VPSP. Move um, SPVP. I think it's pop VP then. Yeah, let's try this. So is, have I documented this wrong? Is there a side effect I'm not noticing? Stack overflow, okay. Move BP, SP, then we pop BP at the end. Pop BP, pop DX, push DX. Push DX, push BP, ah. Should have been pushing that. Uh, push DX. Pop DX. In fact, let's just grab all these things we're saving. And then we'll also pop, uh, pop them at the end. I think that would work. All right, we had a stack overflow and somehow that upsets DOSBox. I don't know why that happens. It upsets me. So this fails, what the heck? What's happening? What if we do time format and we push one, we push um, one second, two, three, four, five. I think that would be six arguments that we're pushing to this thing. That's time format. And we dropped the hello world. And so now we've, we've rewritten our thing and now we just give it hard coded values. I'm pouring tea. That still freezes? What the H man? I'm not pouring tea on you. Once I finished the string stuff, it would all be easy, I said. Okay, so we need to undo everything again because something is wrong here. So, we're going to start changing one thing at a time. First of all, um, we're going to remove the interrupts. And we're just going to push garbage. Mm-hmm. That works. So let's um copy more let's preserve some more registers. That causes issues. Why, bro? Why? Why? Maybe I'm preserving them in the wrong order. Let's just double check. Is there like a reverse character wise? Reverse, and so I feel like I've asked this too many times. Okay. All right, let's use that to kind of rotate what we have. We have 
How many registers? Six. So rotate it six times. All right. That's different. Should be pop. Did I fuck up there? E S S I D I B X D X B P. Yeah, E S S I D I D X B P. B X D X. So B X goes after the D X. I must be out of my mind here. Um, so we push all those. Then we move um, stack pointer to our base pointer. And once we're done with everything, we move the base pointer back to the stack pointer and then we pop the old base pointer. Which is on the stack. And then we pop everything else and we return. Do we have a stack overflow happening here? Hmm, we shouldn't. Okay, well let's remove these pushes and whatever. We might have to add one at a time. So we move our int 21. Let's move all that. And it's just always going to be push AX. And then we'll just all change that to push zero. That works. So there's DX. All right, how about we push DI and SI? And that means after we've, we've done all that, after we've done the DX, we want to pop DI and we want to pop SI. Um, yeah. Let's see if that helps or hinders. Um, okay, well, let's add BX then. What about ES? Touching ES is causing issues. Is that the is that the issue? So if I copy all this and I put it here, but I drop the ES stuff, will that work? Oh, we also need to extend these things. And add the to do. No. So it's maybe not the ES. Okay. But if we do this, if we don't push the ES. Is that just like a random thing that we've just gone over the stack? If we went over the stack, it would overwrite stuff. It would wrap around, right? We don't know how much stack SN printf uses. Shit, are we running out of stack space? 
Oh, I don't want this to be the case. Window. Um, CPU registers. Let's go to... We don't know how much stack space SN printf uses. But we know how much our other code uses, which is barely any. So we would have to be really close to the stack, which makes me doubt this is the case. But okay, let's go to um, log. Or is the stack hitting the heap? That seems like it could be more likely. Um, let's go to, yeah, log. Um, all right. So let's uh, jump over down to here. Run the cursor. Now let's look at our registers. The stack point is 43 three, four, three DO. And we push a whole bunch in it to get um, 43B6. Is that anywhere in the realm of our of anything else in our program? Let's look at the memory map. So stack segment two three five. So I think that's the stack segment is the same as the data segment. Um so let's see. Where is the stack put? Stack stack overflow is four eight a eight. Stack is four eight nine one. No, that's a pointer to the stack. We're at four three b six. On, which is the data segment? Data. The stack is DD zero. Size eight hundred. So zero DD zero. Where's that relocated to? Stack low is at 2890, stack top. All right, um, so we should probably look at um, our globals and we want to look for a stack. Stack top is, no, I don't want to watch that. Um, raw memory, it's at 4.4. Four. Four, four, Okay, so the stack starts at 4400. Okay, that's the stack top. So the stack low is what we're worrying about. That goes down to 3C12. Yeah, we're definitely not touching the stack. Um. Let's look at the stack pointer here. Is there anything down here? There's the, um, this shit looks important. Um, I don't think it's a stack overflow. 4414. 4404. The stack top is 4400, I think but the stack goes down, so we should be looking the other direction. Why is there like the alphabet here? 
A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, P, Q, R, S, T, V, W, X, Y, Z. That's probably a coincidence um, because it's just increasing there. Um, so let's go down here. It doesn't look like we've overwritten anything important. Hey, Mr. Old Player. How are you doing? Do you know anything about why my code isn't working? You call write space or write log. Yep. Just, oh, what? Do exit with message. Um, let's look at our backtrace. Um, it would be code calls. Not enough memory. No. Let's just calling exit. Let's just run it. No, I can. So this actually works now. So we can't debug code that works, can we? So you know what? Let's just push um, SI twice and then pop SI twice. Does that cause error? No. But if I push and pop ES, That cause error. Hmm. So again, is it specifically ES? Hang on, let's edit our The ES should never change though. And if we just change that to be the log buffer, then it still hangs, doesn't it? I feel like I'm looking in the wrong place. There's no reason that this code should be broken. I think I'm just, I've found a bug somewhere else. What if my code is smelly? What if you're... <laughs> I just pictured that Richard Dawkins speech where he's like, what if, what if I'm wrong? What if you're wrong? And it's just me standing there with like my hand in my coat pocket going, what if you're smelly? Okay, so we go to create timestamp. What if we don't log anything? The eugenics dude, who's that? Okay, let's go back to our test code that I'm pretty sure works. Um, log general um so let's not call log general for now in fact let's just do that so we're not going to log some stuff it's the most natural extension of tech broism You shouldn't discriminate against, uh, discriminate against people for their wealth. That is ridiculous. Um, oh, I'm so confused. Okay, so can we, if we don't call create timestamp, so there's log incoming, we're just going to return. 
and log incoming, we're just going to return. And log general, we're just going to return. No more logging. It's hanging even without logging. Did I just like sneeze on the code and now it's just broken? Hmm. All right, so we don't do any logging now. We just log. No log. Only happy feelings. Stop reading stuff that's like giving you mind death. All right, so this is our logic. Let's not log anything. No log, only good times. Still error, still error, why? Why are you giving me all C's? Okay. All right. All right. Let's have a thinky think about this. Let's not log here either. Oh, it's not like actually connected. Still giving me C's. <laughs> what the fuck? All right. Um, so the dispatch in it. Ah. Uh. Let's fix this and put the logging back. Um, I have a feeling we've just uncovered a bug that's been in the program um, for a while. But um, I haven't noticed it perhaps. Let's think about this first. Let's think about this for a hot second. Let's look at what the symptoms are. Well, it, it, when it wants to print logs, it can print logs. It sends a packet length 56. Is that normal? Let's go back here. This is the previous version of the code. So length 56, is that the first packet? Stop reading stuff that's gonna turn you into the Unabomber. Yeah. Oh, well this doesn't work either. Okay, let's see if this works. 
You hate the Unabomber though? Yeah, but you're reading all this stuff. It's gonna radicalize you. Dude. Oh, we can't page up in DOS. Um, okay. So, the first thing we get is this. This is much shorter than this long piece of junk there. Now, by adding an extra push, that doesn't change anything. What if we add another push? What if we add a push ES? <laughs> And that hangs. So it says sent packet length 56. And then we get this big buffer. Is that 56? Yeah. So we get the correct. <coughs> Actually, let's go back here. Um, let's try looking at the bot again. We run bot test. Let's see what it does actually send and receive. Yeah, so it only gets, it gets nulls. It gets, is that, un, is that uninitialized memory? And then it hangs. Okay. All right, so let's have a look at our main loop and try and figure out where the bad data is coming from. So edit drive C code um, bot state. So this is our um, code here. Um, we have our dispatch and then we call send packet here. So According to this logic, the packet we are sending must be corrupted somehow. Um, so let's do set debug equals WD bot test. And we will open up the um, module for um, the state machine. I'll we'll probably need to rename that sometime. God, this, found, this feels like... This is going to be another just videos long. Why is this happening to me? Why did I think I could possibly write a DOS bot? <laughs> okay. So let's run to here. Um, oh, this is failing at dispatch in it. Is dispatch in it failing somehow? Um, I really, I really wish that I could just like um search for a function here and have like state but it doesn't show them here why doesn't my stuff show here oh it hurts me in my in my feelings box <laughs> my feelings box 
Um, okay, let's go to modules, state, and we're going to look for the dispatch part. So state start, let's run to there. We got registers, so we call dispatch in it and we get back null pointer. And then that fails, so we go to state end, no. Send packet, okay, so send packet should send what? SICX. So let's look at um, memory at SI. All right, that has the stuff there. So let's step into this. Um, run place into. Okay. So we get our current send buffer. And this is empty. So we move the data there and it doesn't work. Um, what? What? It's building the packet, but like, what the hell? Send a packet isn't working. CX is the length. Was the length zero? No, it would have been 56. Rep mobs SB. SI and DI. All right, um, what? Let's just have another looky look at send packet. All right, so let's run to cursor. Look at our registers. So we have CX is the length, that's hex 38. DI is, I think SI is the actual buffer. So let's check that out. Yes, so we have some data there. So we move that to CX and we call, we move C CX to DX and we call current send buffer, which has returned us a buffer at A9E2. Um, SI and DI. So we move that, so we have DI, we have SI, we have CX, um, data inspect, um, whoops, wrong file. Let's look at our DI. Rep mobs SB is not filling up our DI. It is filling up SI. No, it's moving past SI. Maybe DI is, maybe it's behind. What is it doing? Why is it not filling up my fucking buffer, dude? A9E2. A9E2. Where's my damn... I should have shit here, bro. You've incremented the pointer here. Okay, hang on, is ES set wrong? ES is different to the data segment for some reason. So is it uh, inspect? Wait, data, memory at ES um, DI? Um, it's not there, data. Memory at ESSI. Not there. So the ES register is fucked, maybe? Why is the ES that register? Hang on. ASM run. I guess we're going to have to push ES here. 
Is C changing our damn? Let's push the S and pop the S here. Why do we have? Why is ES? All right. Um. All right. Let's go to our code. Bot. Grab. Um, ES. So the only place we're using ES now is up here, but we use the mob S stuff, right? So state dot nas. Um, We also have our um, string.nas, and this uses ES. So we need to, okay, we're going to push ES, uh, move DS, move ES, DS, and then we're going to pop ES here. I feel like I've already done this though. Like I've already set ES to the data segment. Um, push this. Copy ES. Grab ES. So state dot nas pops ES. Um, sorry, log.nas pops ES. Yeah. Let's do... Let's not worry about that. Oh, well, let's keep that there anyway. Now this ain't even working. Oh shit, do we need to... Uh, does that mess with C? Alright, I think it does. Alright. We're going to treat ES as a volatile register. And that's explaining what's happening. Um, ES, DOS, whatever. Yes. Um, now when we do mob SB, which is in our rep mob SB, we want to, um, push DS, want to push ES, push DS, pop ES, pop ES. And then we want to do that too in our string. This is weird. Shouldn't ES equal our thing? And that fixes it, I think. Okay. So let's go to our log. Let's delete it and replace it with our new code. And let's see if this works. says stack overflow. How dare you tell me that there is a stack overflow. All right.
we have the timestamp running and we have our stack overflowing. This is okay, I guess. I mean, it's not okay. Um, let's look back at our code real quick. I don't think this code is overflowing the stack, but you never know. Let's move the log buffer thing back there. Yeah, this is hanging. Um, so let's go to our string.naz push push es push ds pop es pop es. That shouldn't overflow anything. See those match. Um, maybe the state is not matching because it no that should work. Um, hmm. Maybe I've messed up something down here. Okay. Um, so we have this here. What we want to do is push DS. We want to push ES. Then we want to pop ES and pop ES. There's no like, I can't set the segment to be non ES for this instruction, can I? What? Why? Oh wait, I can set it, I think. Can I set it to be DS there? And then we can just do DS rep of SB. No. What is happening with my life? I know, let's go to the debugger. Wait, is this also lods s? Yeah, we have lods s and we have um, stars. God damn it. All right. All right, let's figure out why is the ES register not where what it should be. Um, what called ES register? ES register. The ES register should be the same as DI, shouldn't it? And it should always clean up the registers. Actually, I think I have a solution to this. We're going to... Oh, we can't, we can't do that. Ah! What is happening here? We have SCASB as well. I just want a grill. I just want a grill. All right. 
set debug equals wd bug test. Let's step through this. Data registers. ES is not DS. What is ES? Hey, Code Gamer, you okay? What is that A204? I'm not smash typing my keyboard. Don't post fake news in chat. Banned. Deleted. Um, why is the ES register like this? Is MTCP setting it? Gets changed. No. You're right, I can't ban you. So the ES register is A204. Shit. You can clone people while they're not even looking. Send a packet change the ES register. What is the ES register? All right, this is a volatile register, I guess. Um, what call ES register? What are we using it for? I mean, I guess I could step into stuff, right? And we could see where the ES register is being set. Following registers are non volatile. Okay, so that's 32 bit. We're looking for a what call. Following registers. It's going, it's happening. It's there. It's, it's happening. Okay. 16 bit stack base. Register based. Programming block? No, just bugs. I think the cat wants me to open my door and allow her safe passage into my room. You want to come into my room? My cat has hypothyroidism. Pick you up and you can sit on my lap for a second, cat. You want to talk to the stream? No. You only meow when I'm not touching you or cuddling you. Nice pats for the cat until she decides it's time to get off my uh, legs. Hello. Yeah. What's up, cat? How are you doing? How's your day going, cat? You're on my desk now, huh? What's it like being up high? Oh, you want to leave. Okay. Well, thanks for dropping by. I'll we'll see you later, I guess. That was a cat moment. Okay. The following registers are volatile. ES. So, the string operations that I'm using are a bit fucked, if anything. Yeah, cat's okay. 
But wait, if they're volatile, then how come I can't just like move um, ESDS and then like move ESDS there and then before we call our, uh, there's a lot of CFFI going on. Um, so we have mobs SB. We would move ESDS. I guess we could make a rule that after every C core, we do the mobs ESDS. Yeah, all right, let's make that our new rule. Call receive new packet, mobs ESDS, call state, um, call receive new packet, mobs ESDS. Um, and then, right, call. Um, we also have logic and log.nas, okay. Um, edit logic, be logic, all, oops, it's the other way around, all get in van, then we will have to move ESDS, and then what was the other one, log. Um, SN printf. And we will move ESDS back afterwards. I think that's all of them. Um, let's just look at our state. All ESDS, ESDS. Should be a return there. ESDS, ESDS. Okay. So this is either going to work well or break everything in my life. Um, yeah, I'd put you in the trash if you did that. Sorry, Kaz. No! I can't say yes that way. And it's in it in a hundred places. This is a okay. I'm not, we must bury the evidence. No. All right. All right. New plan. <laughs> Burns everything in the chat. No, it's okay. All right. Right. Push. Yes. Oh, yes. No, but then my functional arguments. No. No. Okay, that should actually be fine. Okay. So you want to find where we do more, uh, push. When we call packets, we want to do um, push ES, pop ES. Push ES, pop ES. Whenever we're doing an external C call, because that's volatile and I want, I want this. Push ES, and I guess before we return, we do pop ES. All right, um, log thing here, push ES, pop ES. I guess we could just push it at the top here. Push PX, um, pop, um, 
of ESP format. Log ES. Okay, and then we want to look at log. Let's print F nice. We want to. We can't push CX ES here. Oh no. Oh shit. I know what we'll do. Push ES. Move. Uh, push DS. Pop DS. Uh, pop ES. There. And then we want to also look for. Call get env. And we'll just push yes. Pop yes. Is that before BX? Yeah, let's put it before BX. So after we call. <coughs> any code, I guess. Or we extend code. Okay. So state log and logic log and state. So we've done state. We've got to do logic, just double checking. Your poor hand's going to make lab meat. No. My cat is meowing again. Meow. 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 <laughs> um, and log. Who knew that C was so difficult? Um, we also have the foreign functions here. So we have close log. That's fine. Log printf. This is for, um, log buffer length. And we don't need to worry about that. Okay. Let's see if this works. It works. Maybe. All right, let's try. We can remove the push and pop ES. All right, we have times again. Incoming three V five. So the incoming thing is not set properly. <clears throat> so we've messed that up, I think. But the code is working. Create timestamp is working. Incoming three. Incoming three V five something. That's not correct. Incoming three. Print format incoming. And we have incoming three. V five something. 
I think I do need to actually. Oh, shit. What the hell is happening? Why is the incoming thing messed up? I think I was like printing. Log incoming. Yeah. Logic.nas. Log incoming. And I was also calling do pass there. Um, command buffer. Yeah, so what if we just don't log the command buffer? Is this just a command buffer thing? Alright, so is our command buffer passing broken? Yeah, I've broken my parser. Let's try parse. Um, string. My parser is broken. My parser is broken. Why? Why my parser broken, dude? Dude. Man. Bro. Um, maybe there's a logical explanation in the parser. Or like, maybe I need to push um, DS pop. Yes, maybe I've forgotten to set ES back. My code is taken e shit. No, don't insult my code or me or my boy ever again. Okay, so it's not that. No, cat, you gotta be quiet. Shh, 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 shh. Shh. It's okay. Shh. Um. Oh, my cat's meowing nonstop. Come in. All right. What is V5 heart? All right. So you want to go back out, huh? Why? Why did you even come in here, bro? You just want to see what's outside my door? You don't want to actually go out of my door? Do you want to be in my room or not, cat? You're going to meow at me either way? Oh, it looks like someone needs her medication. The cat has hypothyroidism and is untreated at the moment, which we're working on. The cat is in a state of um, feeling very hungry. Let's also not write this null character just while we're at it. Okay, so our pass, <laughs> our parser is broken. Uh, that's okay. Um, I actually don't check if do pass is successful. Call do pass. Um, what does do pass return? Um, edit code. Bot pass dot nas. So do pass returns. It sets carry flag and fail. Yeah. So jump carry return. Um, no print. 
better print. I don't know why we're setting CX. Oh yeah, CX is zero. Okay. Valid segment override. Okay. So, what? Unknown error. Why? Oh, because I'm not printing stuff. So my parser is unable to pass this. I think. Yeah, incoming 53. So. Why is the parser failing? Let us take a peek. Pop the hood. Wiggle the jerrys. I don't know. Let's go to do pass. Um, and let's run to the cursor and we want to look at our data for the memory at SI test server 001. So let's go this, we set that run with step into run trace into, we set the pass buffer. We move a H. All right. I have to switch this to assembly. All right. So we call password. If you don't have any tags, so we're going to jump a branch. We're going to subtract the other carry and return. Okay. Now let's try passing the, the thing. Okay. We're passing the parameters. Um, call near pointer. Um, so the parameters are not being passed. Um, Wait. Hang on, let's let's examine this a bit more. What string is breaking this? So incoming five three there's a lot of arguments there actually. Um is that what a message of the day looks like? IRC 001. I think we might just not have enough. Oh, I'm not putting the colons there to say that this is one argument. I think. Um, Send a fake message of the day. Okay, let's try this. Um, still not passing correctly. Or at least I don't think it is. Let's just, um, Remove that. Um, ah, ah, what's going on? 
Uh, oh, shit. Is my syntax wrong, maybe? I swear this worked before. Incoming v5, so the command is not being passed. So, what is happening here? S server, is it because there's too many spaces? Have I messed up my sp multiple spaces? No. I don't think so. Have I messed up my prefixes? Let's look at our pass code. So we pass tags, pass prefix, pass command, and pass parameters. So let's just send it the command. Still nothing. And it's still failing for some reason. Why is there spaces there? Test server, hello world. Have I really just broken like multiple spacer? The send line add the R at the end? Yeah. So I think, is multiple spaces broken? No. Why is this not working? All right, let's, let's do the debug. Modules. Window, window, modules, um, pass. Let us view the assembly. And so what we want to do is go over to Is there a way to like not view the source? I just want to view these set. Okay, I guess not. All right. So there's the pass buffer. We set that. So it's actually above here. We're in password if params list. It should be higher than there. Yeah, around here. can't recognize any of this code. Let's look at the assembly. So pass message does tags and then command and then list length. Uh, whatever, let's just step through it and try and understand it. Call pass message. So we want to run to the cursor. Run step into. And look at our registers. So we call um, pass tags. That succeeds. We call pass prefix. That succeeds. Call pass command. That succeeds. Um, let's look at memory at command buffer. 
L5. Yes. It's getting written to ES. And my ES is not the data segment. Wait. Should this be the data segment? Maybe this should be like section data. I've put my stuff in the wrong segment. Um, maybe? Or maybe ES is getting broken. Yeah, it says incoming 60. Yeah, that's a big long thing. And if we go here, we gotta always print whatever is in the command buffer. Which is X. What if we push um, DS? Of ES. And then just remove that BSS thing. No, that doesn't work either. Unless I like maybe section data and this. No. Um, does this edit? Yes. Let's see. Push DS. Pop yes. I should definitely be working. Um, I didn't know PSUH was an instruction that worked. All right, so maybe login coming is messing up here. But no, the overflow gets set. Why is the overflow getting set? Why is the overflow getting set? Why? Okay. Window. Module. Pass. Pass command. Pass message. Um, so we want to code assembly here. And I think this is the pass message. Code. No, this is the pass params, I think. I think this is the pass message. Maybe. Pass buffer, let's. Let's trace into.
run trace into. Okay, data registers. So we go to pass the parameters. That's fine. Or seven two six. That's fine. We return. We compare BX with a thousand. We set the. Why did we set carry? Hang on. We are at compare BX to zero. So what is BX? The leftovers? We haven't read something. Um, let's look at, um, is it SI? We haven't read the A. Zero D zero A. Why do I have an A? Am I adding two new lines? What's happening? Send line. Connection send. All right, well, let's remove that. Then why is there an extra new line? Taz, I need answers and you're not providing them for me. There shouldn't be an extra new line here. Good. Be sorry. Um, so idle state, we call do pass. What if we don't log it? Is logging somehow corrupting this? No. I'm going to have to look at my freaking state thing. I think I've made a mistake. I think I've messed up. Watching my streams, you wouldn't know that this is the thing, but I think I'm, I'm copying the trailing new line. Append line. Compare a compare AL zero A jump equal. Oh, so stars B. Okay, so we do actually read the new line. We do actually copy the new line, which is completely against anything I thought happened. But this is what happens when you uh, play hard and fast. Do pass, do pass. We're going to pass um, LF. Pass CR. Yeah, we're going to pass CR, LF. Do read. Jump not equal turn. Do read. Jump not equal turn. There. Hey, 
the fact that actually means that we could remove our peak CR stuff, I think. Maybe? No. That's fine. All right, uh, this is also gonna break all our pass tests, so let's fix those. Edit code test, test pass. Um, where's our R? We want to append um, an R. If we emit an RN. All right, let's see if that fixes the tests. Okay. So back to this memory shit. Maybe, hopefully we can fix this in the next 15 minutes and then just have a three hour stream. That'd be cool, imagine that. That'd be so cool. All right. Yes, yes. Yes. State get packet. Get skip line. We copy our shit. Oh boy. Um, we're gonna go to state dispatch. And I wanna run to the cursor. And we want to trace into. Then we go to login coming. called do pass um, data memory at command buffer data memory at yes command buffer Okay, data, memory at, ES command buffer. It's there. Sick. Data, memory at, command buffer. Data, memory at, um, ES command buffer. Data, memory at, ES command buffer. So it's there. So we go to uh, login coming. We run, we trace into, we create a timestamp. We write the log, I think. Let's trace into int 21x. So this is literally writing to the log.
So the long and STD out have two different things. No, there's two handles. So that writes it. That should be written now. So let's look at bot test.log. So that hasn't written it properly. Why is this? Is this because int 21h is expecting something different? Let's look at our data. Memory at, I think it would be SI. That's what it looks like. Data memory at ESSI. Yeah. Data memory at ESDO. Data memory at ES command buffer. So DX. I think DX is the thing. Data memory at DX. So right log there. Is this not actually writing the, uh, hang on. This didn't actually write, or did I? That doesn't have the thing. Write space. Um, so, Wait, we have create time span, write log, and write space. Why do we have all that? Log printf. So log incoming. Oh, so it writes. Print format incoming. Log incoming. It creates a timestamp, creates write log. Oh, it writes the timestamp, then it writes the space. And then, okay, so that doesn't actually have anything to do with it. Um, so push SI. And so we're trying to write SI. So let's see, what's that? Memory at SI. Data, memory at ESSI. Um, data, memory at command buffer. It is 2E58, data, memory at ES, command buffer. So 2C58, data, memory at um ESSI two E five eight data memory at ES command buffer two C five eight two E five eight Why is this the wrong value? Why is this a full it's at 128 bytes, 256 bytes off. No, it's 512 bytes off. What the hell? Um, is this because I've moved things around? Hang on. This is feeling like that error I had before. Um, let's go to pass.naz. Yeah, I set my groups up. Let's put this back in BSS. Um, set debug. Podcast.
And now that's hung. It hangs now. Why? Oh, that didn't hang. Um, so let's go back to our logic. We call do pass and we move SI to command buffer and CX to command buffer length. Um, then we call log incoming. And that somehow increments SI. So let's break at log incoming. Window module log login coming, please. Run, run the cursor registers. So let's see what data is at SI. We are logging that. That's good. All right, let's run again. Data memory at SI. And now it's invalid. So what's data memory at command buffer? That's the same, okay. So SI is correct. Call create timestamp. Call write log. Call write space. Pop CX. Push SI. Format incoming. SN printf nice. Um, and then write log. And if we look at data, we have um, command buffer data ESSI. Data CSSI. Um, data DS SI data DS command buffer. Wait, that's that's low. Yeah, let's. Go back here. That wasn't the correct address. I didn't check it properly. Let's run to the cursor again. All right, data memory at DSSI. All right, let's run to the cursor again. Data memory at DSSI. Yeah, that's wrong. That's that's definitely not the right value. Huh. So move SI command buffer is not correct, which smells like a relocation issue, if you ask me. Um, no one has asked me though. All right. Let's go back to our idle state. I guess we can just step out of this function. Turn. And we want to go to run. Run to cursor. And let's look at the assembly for this. 3776. Data memory at command buffer. 3776. And it's actually. Not there, data command buffer. Um, D, uh, DS command buffer is 3576. Um, 
Uh, right, it's 3776. But if I do just command buffer, if I don't specify DS, the command buffer shows this value. So where is this value? Let's look at the memory map. Command buffer. 3776. Hmm. What is happening here? 3776 is supposedly the address, but when I look it up with DS3776, oh, I think that's maybe being converted to like a linear address or something. Maybe? because the data segment might be just a bit off. Let's try it. Okay, so the data segment is, uh, the code segment is 194C, data segment 236C, memory at 236C3776. And yet in the assembly there, it is, it has been located to put that there. Um, this smells like a linking issue. Let's go back to our pass group. D group const two data. So let's section data for this instead of BSS. Um, I don't know why I had the debugger open for that. We want to do bot test. That still doesn't work. So command buffer is down here. We have the global values. We have a section here. We have group D group const two data BSS. We've put them in the data group. Maybe I need to put this down here. Maybe I need to put section data class equals data. Maybe that's my mistake. Section data. And then we put the group at the bottom. Maybe we shouldn't be grouping it. Section data. Maybe we should try section underscore data. Let's look at this. How did I figure this out before? Um, BSS zero D or a D group data. Lots of that. It's 256 off. Did I mess up the syntax here? Is it not grouping properly? Hang on. Let's go to, um, I think state.nas. And let's copy that back. Let's 
But that wouldn't explain why it's not really working with... Uh, with the thing. Um, hmm. What other values do we have? We have the incoming value, and that's in const. So what if we um, just do const2? We just put that in const. I'm sure that's fine, and that won't error immediately. What if I remove section const two from there? What if I remove the section data from there? All right, I feel like I'm gonna have to solve this off stream maybe, or review my old video. Um, I'm not doing a long stream. This is confusing as heck. Um, I think I have all the sections in D group. Now we have a group D group. In fact, if we don't group this stuff, what happens? Nothing, it just doesn't print anything. Hang on. I'm remembering something. Something I learned just yesterday. What if we go to our logic and instead of loading SI command buffer, we load the effective address. No, that doesn't do it. But what if we set the segment to DS? We you know um, DS command buffer. Um, see, the thing is that the command buffer length is correct. It's just command buffer that is not correct. Um, is it dereferencing the pointer or something? What if we do this? Wait, that worked. Oh, shit. Command buffer is a pointer. Okay, we fixed it. We did it. It was me. I was the problem. Um, but look, this has been a long ride, but everything is back to normal and fine. And we're just going to grab our bot directory and put it in trash. <laughs> That's a joke. I don't remember when this bot was done. 15th of November. Um, that would be 20, 22, 11, 15. And then we're just going to paste this in, and that's the stream. That's all. Um, does that mean that Whatcom was dereferencing it? Whatcom was dereferencing the value then in the debugger.
Oh, that's right. Command buffer points to. It isn't a buffer. It is a pointer to a buffer. And don't eat lead. I'll eat as much lead as I want now that I have my DOS bot. Uh, writing timestamps with the correct time. Like, look at that. Look at the timestamp. Look at all of it. And we should probably check the bot log, actually. Why is this not finished? Um, you're proud. Good. Um, yeah, that, that's it. See you next week. It's enough DOS for this week. Um, we learned some important lessons. We learned that the ES register is a fickle beast. Um, and that's, that's all. Goodbye, everyone.